Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Providence Computation Design. Today I'm super excited for today's tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can create a mesh relaxation which can be ut utilized as uh, art installation um, which these techniques are notable used by renowned architects Mark Ford. In this tutorial we are going to dive into three parts the first part we will create a mesh network second part will be form finding by grasshopper and kangaroo third part will be making strips for digital fabrication so the first part we create a line and from the line we branch into lines forming the trees three branch known as a fracture tree Part, part two, we dive into and honest the capability of kangaroo to achieve uh, mesh relaxation and form findings. This will bring our mesh into life. Third part, we explore the digital fabrication and make layouts of strips so that we can take it into CNC machine and laser cut. I'm super exciting to guide you through to the, this process of creating a creative journal so stay in touch and make sure that you can download all source file down in the description below at you hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have this tutorial for you i want to show you how you can create a mesh relaxation a mesh relaxation and this uh, kind of project which are uh, art ins installation which are more known by Mark Fonts. So he's a fresh architect, French architect. So let's dive into what we're going to do. By the way, this is a part one. I encourage you to watch part part two and part three, which will be uploaded in the future. So but let's start on this one. So today what I want to show you is the way we can create skeleton of uh, of this uh, of this structure. Scraton or network mesh, uh, whatever I want to call it. So let's let me show you. First of all, let me disable this part and then show you what we have to do. And then uh, let's disable this part. So we have this kind of tree, fluctual tree, which which are recursive, which can grow any way I want. So this tree is acting like a network of our mesh. So which I'm passing through to mud pipe so that I can have uh, this mesh out of it. This is by the way, this is something but I can turn into uh, turn into mesh which i'll explain you how to do it so without further delay, let's start so we start by empty uh, empty c sharp write c sharp and name your inputs i finished to name my input this is an input which are a plain i put type as plain input integer t uh, here it is iteration or recursive number of it recursive we have next one is angle because again we want to control how our tree behave you can see by one instance we can have different structure at the same time so um, the last part is the length which which are this one which detected the, the height so let's start uh, before let's disable everything here so that we can start clearly so let's open it uh, I have lightened the steps as common uh, co comment so that we can uh, not wasting time adding comment so first of all let's create the method we're going to put output direct uh, let's call it tree and then input will be PR this print uh, second will be integer iteration, which are this one integer, and next one will be angle. Um, last one will be the length, the length we want. 
then after creating our method here we are going to create method uh, which going to execute uh, this argument let me explain you how we can do it uh, first of all imagine uh, we have that plane from from down here imagine that we have this plane on the ground uh, here and then uh, we move this point in z direction so and we make three or four branch like this and then from this branch uh, we make recursive operation to add more branches so that's what we are going to do in uh, C sharp so that we can get the network of our mesh so let's start first our method will turn the tree or data structure And then input will be lines. What we we'll turn is lines and make sure it is capital letter. Then we call it three. First argument we receive print PR. Don't care to have the same name, doesn't matter. And next will be integer, which will be ET. And the next part will be double and it is angle. Third input will be double also and will be length and cross. Then uh, create curly brackets. Uh, and then we create uh, the, the data structure which. Uh, tree which is going to have all the lines let's call it make or call it lines then uh, equals to new and then this is what we are going to return lines across check there is no complaining. Um, there is a comp we see the mistake we done so far. Uh, data structure. Uh, I did a mistake. Here it is not tree. That, that it is. It is not dead. It is data. Okay. Now it is correct. Now so let's continue. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to create function which uh, will stop our recursive. It goes if it goes low when it is greater than or equal zero we return whatever we have as line okay here we put like this uh, we return uh, lines okay There's no complaining. Okay, let's go. Um, let's get the, the point. Um, starting point. Because I print. From the print, you can get original origin of the point. And then we're going to move this point in Z direction. Let's do it. Make for point. Um, point. Let's call it. Uh, P1, P2, and let's call it P1 or P. Yes, no problem. Then point, point 3D. X coordinate will be uh, our start. Start X coordinate. Remember, we want only to change the direction. So we want X. Uh, and then on y we don't have to change anything x and then also on y we don't have to change anything okay on z we need to add the length 
then cross okay after getting uh, after getting the at the first point we have to create the line uh, call it line or line line zero line one equals to new line which get uh, uh, the start point and p this is will be our first line then this first line it is the one we have to add as the first within our tree so this tree of lines let's for example we call it t t it is simple okay call it t t add um we make it here t add line one then down here also we correct it is no longer line it is t then after creating this one we should get a new plane let's first of all create a vector which is going to help us to get a new plane a vector we call it v okay new vector vector 3d then vector 3d we want a starting point starting point no we want um uh, we want p minus a starting point to get this vector and then print we have to create a new print on the top of our line so the print uh, the, the print we are creating it is the print which are, should be in this point so let's make it which we need the origin which are p um, and v which are vector after getting this one we are going to rotate this point by making loop integer i equals zero integer i must be greater than three at this moment let's make three branch or three uh, three point okay mm -hmm. i plus plus and cross curly bracket here okay and we are going to rotate this point by trigonometry function so uh, before um uh, we will have to get um x coordinate of this prior uh, I am x coordinate of this print, but we do it uh, we, first of all. Let's create the function. First of all, let's create um, the angle, angle one here to differentiate. Here on the angle, we use capital letter angle, yeah, angle one, which will be uh, before anything, we need to make sure that we are turning our angle into. Uh, radiant because um, grasshopper works with radiant so here we use mat uh, linomat which can space name, name space which can help us to get mat for line so we to radiant so here and then we take 360 degree divided by 3 and then add uh, I. I multiply by I because we want to rotate uh, at uh, 120 by each point. So this is first angle, second angle, um, second angle. We call the same things, but we have to use the angle we are getting with capital letter okay and cross so so far we have a mistake line does not exist in current content 
let's see where the problem it is. Uh, 721. 721. Where is 721? Our return type should be T. We didn't collect it. Okay. And P does not exist. Here the P does not exist. Here probably we use the capital letter. Let's use small letter. Now we are good. Okay. Let's make uh, X coordinate double. Uh, let's use uh, X, which we call um, the length of lad the length or radius. Uh, multiply by uh, our cosine, which we get from the math cosine, and uh, um, the uh, and the first angle then we multiply with um, sine I hope this formula you remember from the high school and sine and then on sine we have um, the second angle then cross the, the segment then we create x coordinate if not let's move this code inside inside our comment so that this comment would be relevant okay then here must have y then uh, only have a uh, sign sign in this case on the y we have only sine coordinate and then we have the first uh, the first angle then we make for y uh, for z z coordinate then the same things make length or radius multiply um, with cosine cosine with the second angle it's working so after getting this coordinate we need to create um, a new line called branch because a new line new point point 3d we need x um, express uh, brain before before making this line let's first of all um, create a point from the the brain we have one point we call it uh, p1 for example which we call brain dot uh, origin and cross so here x coordinate plus uh, p1 pr uh, plus the x coordinate of that point then uh, y p1 plus y coordinate of that point and then z uh, plus p1 uh, with that z coordinate Mm -hmm. Here we create a second line. Line to okay, which will equal new prime and new line, which will need uh, P1, uh, P1, and a blanche. Then we close. This is our new line. So we are going to create a plane which is going to help us to get recursive. But before anything, let's add this line into our data structure. Right. Then here uh, we create a recursive. Before recursive, let's create a plane. Um, by this plane, we need to get um, vector call it v1 and then it 
create new vector this vector it's like z direction for our poem uh, uh, our origin so uh, the z we equal um, if the branch here the branch minus p1 this point from the origin then we get the vector let's create print print one okay because print which needs uh, origin which which are branch uh, this name branch is not fitting okay let's call it point instead of calling the branch here it's making sense and then change everywhere okay and then um, we put v1 okay uh, this is print we want so let's call recursive so let's call it a uh, branch yeah this moment at least we can call it branch then uh, make recursive use a uh, tree as method which required the brain brain one and then required iteration but remove negative one and then we required angle which are uh, um I'm going have then we require length can we cross like this so and this branch we need to add it into our data structure but you cannot take a tree and add it in inside the, another tree because uh, we're going to get the data structure which are in form of three so in order to add it successfully we need to add each branch so by doing that we need to create a loop you can create for each let's create for loop it's okay integer g equals zero and g must be greater than um, this branch But, um, bra a branch count this branch there's lists so data structure is like a list of the list and then um, G plus plus then close make three bracket and then um, can here add into our data structure successful J okay, and cross then here curly bracket then think it is done here we have to do like this think it is done I hope it's working but before you do anything let's first of all cross cross our server and then click OK and save before anything because recursive sometimes make you mess up so let's again open it so you see we did a mistake um the line of geometry point three d does not exist in content in the fourth argument so let's see the problem on 100 to what the mistake we did all of the mistake here we did obvious here we don't have to add it and come out like that we need to add okay now it is okay you are good to go it is done let's reduce the height height is too much angle seems like we are messed up with the angles so let's check the mistake we did on the angles 
Okay, I had the mistake we did. Here we should add a capital letter. You should not do this mistake to name all all your input with the same name. So now it is working. So now we can have super control. So after we have in this, let's create mat pipe. But before creating mat pipe, let's join. Is join and go to mesh and uh, surface and get this mat pipe and then put the node size with 300 for example as pipe 300 is too much put 100 200 seems to be okay and then uh, increase the height like this so you see we have this structure which we can control the number and then I control the number of the branch so here we set for mm -hmm. and also on the loop we set for you can see it let's preview So thank you so much. I hope you're going to like the part two. The part two will do mesh relaxation. So thank you so much. Uh, make sure you subscribe and you can get this script at down description below. Thank you. Ciao. But before I go anywhere, so I want to show you that we can have multiple points and still creating uh, the same result because here we are dealing with total structure so for example let's take this point all of it and we will build into here not point then select them enter then we drag the so then we increase Increase the height so that we can see all of them. We can see them. Let's first of all, let's decrease the size. Let's put 100 so that we can see it clearly. Separate them. So this kind of my script is working like a grasshopper component you can accept single branch or accept uh, multiple trees so thank you so much don't miss out the part two of this video and all files you can get it down in the description below and if you want to flow alongside with me there is example there is file which i will give you which can help you to go with me. So see you next time. Make sure to check our tool.